Hello, this is Thibaut for another animation tutorial video. So today we're gonna see a cursor follower. It's done with bricks, with a bit of custom CSS and JavaScript. So let's see how it looks like. So I have this cursor, and I have this purple thing following my mouse pointer. Forget about the blue one, it's because of the video recorder. And when I'm clicking on something, I have a small animation. Then you can see on different color. You can see that the color is a bit changing according to the background color. And um, it's getting transparent as well. So, okay. So let's see how it's done. So in bricks, so I have two sections, but it's just to put my buttons and my cards. What the important thing is to create a cursor follower div, which contain, as you can see, an icon. So I'm putting it flex and center everything. Then the style, the layout, I'm putting a certain size, but what is important is the fixed position uh, and the Z and X with sitting on top of it, of everything and a pointer even known. Uh, I'm putting some background, some border, and a CSS, I'm putting the transition. So you can play with it if you want to change the background, color, um, whatsoever, you can do, do it here. Then I have my code. The code is the following. So I have some JavaScript and a bit of CSS. So the CSS is giving uh, a certain width and height on hover. Uh, it's cancelling the mix. It's giving the sorry the big mix blend mode. So exclusion in that case, but could be for instance uh, difference and transition. Also the same transition. I'm using the same everywhere. Uh, when it's clicked. I'm changing the background to transparent, the border uh, I'm giving some, and I'm unsetting the mixed band mode and still giving my transition. So then for the JavaScript, basically there are two parts. The first part is uh, calculating the mouse position to give to the, to the div, which has the, class animated cursor. So animated cursor, it gives a certain position in terms of X and Y. So that's how we can have the, the automatic translation of the position of the mouse to the, uh, to the, to the other div. Then there is a second part where I'm doing an effect on mouse over and mouse out. So I'm giving this cursor animation class and on mouse out, I'm removing this cursor animation. Then on click, I'm giving this cursor click class, I'm activating it and I'm putting a, a timeout. So after 200 milliseconds, the class is removed. So basically that's it. So one, one important thing is, I, as you can see, I'm putting it in the page uh, because I want to use the, um, the mix blend mode. If I'm using, uh, you could put it into a header, no problem, but the header will have most probably a fixed position. And in that case, the mix blend mode will not uh, work. So in that case, you can put it in the header, but you will have to play not with mixed blend mode, but maybe with transparency to make it work. So you will have to play a bit with the with all the elements to get to the result that you want. So that's it for today. I'll see you at the next video. Bye.